everybody. My name is Megan, as you probably already know. And I'm the Makerspace resident, so technically I'm not even an explainer anymore. Uh, just putting that out there. That's right. Um, so I'm the Makerspace resident, and I've been a part of NYSIDE staff for more or less like four years. Um, so I want you guys to join me on a photographical timeline of my experience here. All right, so when I tell people that I'm a resident, they say, oh, well, what's a resident? I'm like, well, you know, I live here. This is, <laughs> this is my home now. That's what, <laughs> but basically um, a resident is an explainer who's kind of been absorbed into a different department within the museum. So I do kind of live here on the weekends at least. Um, so we do a lot of cool workshops. Um, here I am. There's a lot of pictures of me, by the way. So, uh, and watch as my hair gets fluffier as the years go on. So right now we're, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, here I am doing one of my first weekend workshops. Uh, and our weekend workshops are weekly programs where we engage families into product, oh, sorry, not products, projects. Uh, projects that teach tool and material literacy through design and making. So here I'm just showing a little girl how to approach tools with confidence. Because kids are kind of scared when they see, oh, hammers and nails, I don't know, I don't want to get hurt, I'm just a kid. But, you know, you can do it. And here we go. There we go, all right. So here, we don't just do things just for kids. We also have, uh, you know, a wide age range. And so this whole family here is engaged in our molding and casting workshop. And so I think that our workshops are a really great example of making and making things that are usually not that accessible, available to the public. But we don't even just do like low tech stuff, we try to do some high tech things too. That's my hand. Um, here we are soldering. And so this is a really cool high tech skill if you want to build circuits or any kind of electronics. Um, this was from our luminescent night light workshop. And the possibilities are endless. Speaking of which, this was the finished product. It has a little photo cell. Thanks. Um, and the five, I'm sorry. There was a five and a half year old girl who actually made one of these. So she was way out of our age range, but her parents believed in her and she was really confident in her skills. And she was able to build her own uh, nightlight. So that was really cool. Because making is for all ages. It's not just for adults, even though soldering irons Very hot. Then we have our wild card weekend. And uh, here I was, well, let me tell you what our wild card weekends are. Um, they're just like our weekend workshops, but they have different ideas and concepts that are not part of our regular programming. So this one, we were melting some crayons with a heat gun. For science, of course, it's chemistry. Uh, you know, phase changes. That's basics of chemistry right there. And the final product was to make a cute little votive candle with crayons, and they were scented. That was cinnamon. I remember that one. <laughs> um, so teaching science through making is a really big part of my job and my journey here. In 2014, I actually joined MakerCore, which is one of MakerEd's programs. <laughs> and um, so I brought out the steps on what it's like to be a Maker Core mentor. Step one, you choose a youth serving organization, and I chose the one that's downstairs. <laughs> it was cool though, I love Corona. Um, step two, you get a possibility box, and it's just this box full of stuff, um, from like felt to Arduinos, all these high tech, low tech things. You decide what you wanna do with those. Then the hardest thing, you have to play with all that stuff, because you have to figure out how to use it. Step four, actively engage the local community. Again, that's something I was really into doing because I was an explainer, that's what I was used to doing. Step five, you play with some other cool stuff. That was really hard, let me tell you. Um, because we just received some new 3D printers, so I had to test them out and make sure that they worked. So that brings me to step six. <laughs> you have to punch things. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was inspired by an episode of Dexter's Lab. I don't know if you guys remember, but 
but he made these rings because his sister kept taking his stuff. So he was punching a waffle. It was really funny. Uh, but the science behind this is that I had to prototype 3D printing workshops using Tinkercad, and eventually we turned that into a weekend workshop. Next, we had Make Academy, which is one of our uh, summer camps. This was, was based on 3D design. And so here, one of our kids, he's prototyping cardboard versions of something he will future in the future with 3D print. And here's a similar, the same workshop. Um, they're now using laser cut versions of the cardboard versions. So a lot of 2D back to 3D, back to 2D. It's really fun. And here it is as a, a full-fledged workshop that we did the following year. So back to my residency, I have some goals. Um, number one is to instill tool confidence and competence in young makers to develop and present our fun workshops to people of all ages and origins, and to make sure that our programs stay relevant and interesting, because everything changes so much all the time. It's hard to keep up. Um, and my residency is a really amazing platform to develop my personal, professional, and creative skills. I love my job. They pay me to play with stuff. And my final goal is to make sure that kids can also have the same opportunities to explore their creativity and their confidence and to become better makers. Um, and here's a sneak or -er preview. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, we did Make Academy this summer, and our kids have their own booth in Nightside Village. You guys should check them out. They're really great, and they loved all the work that they did. So here's just a little taste of what they're doing. Um, and thank you for listening to me talk about myself. Yeah.